Hello everyone, Ben Emerson here. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to add a bit of whip into your golf swing to add a bit more power and actually use this whipping effect correctly to help you hitting some better, further and straighter shots coming up in today's video. So one of the things that's really important to understand when it comes to power is actually, I like to think of the golf swing a little bit like you trying to crack a whip in the sense that you're trying to generate as much power as you can starting from the handle, but you want the fastest, most powerful bit to be at the end of the whip when you crack the whip. And the same thing happens in the golf swing. We wanna make sure that power is delivered here at impact the golf ball only understands will ever react to what happens at impact. But I see time and time again, players actually losing this power by cracking the whip early, either getting this casting kind of effect, which leads to a scoop, which just leads to so many miss hits. Actually, it's quite important to understand that I don't want power to be lost here. I want power to be generated here. If you think about your golf swing, as a whole, you think about the backswing. The whole idea of a backswing is to actually, in my opinion, is to build up as much energy as you can so you're feeling that you're loading into this right side correctly, you're loading your wrist correctly, you're getting all these angles correct. So by the time you've actually unleashed, you're actually then unleashing all that power at the point of impact. When we see the weak hitters, the casters, the scoopers, the miss hitters of the world, they do it very differently, they lose it at the wrong point, and then all of a sudden the whole power and the whole golf shot, shot is completely lost. So I wanna show you a couple of drills just to give you the feeling of how you can add a little bit of whip and where you can do it to add some proper power and strength to your golf game. So first of all, I think it's important to understand that sequencing is, is the king to all of this, right? So when we talk about sequencing, and I've done this in other videos before, Basically what I'm talking about, by the time the club gets to the top of the backswing, your lower body is already starting the swing. So we get this sequence of events that happens as the club's going back, the lower body starts the golf swing, it's the handle of the whip, it's the strongest muscles that we've got. They start before the club changes direction. Where a lot of people get this wrong is they wait to get to the very top of the swing and then they go, right, I'm gonna now turn and fire, but unfortunately, the golf swing is a lot more dynamic than that and actually you need to have a bit more flow to the whole swing. So what I want you to try and understand is the first thing that moves before the clubs reach the top and change direction is the lower body drives forward. It already starts turning towards the target, followed by the upper body, then the lead arm, and then finally the club. That would be a really nice sequence of lower body, upper body, lead arm, club. Now, in the coaching world, I see all sorts of sequences. And when we use 3D technology, we can really dive in deep to a, a, what is a very fast golf swing and actually see which part starts first. And we see all sorts. I see club start, I've seen arm start, I've seen upper body, you think the over the top guys that come upper body first. I've seen all sorts of sequencing. Now, it doesn't mean that's gonna relate down to the ball. I've seen many people start badly but correct it, but it's a lot easier if you can get out of the blocks straight away and get a good start. So one of the things I love to do from a drill perspective, first of all, is actually just take a couple of really slow rehearsal kind of swings and just get used to the weight of the club going backwards and forwards, first of all. And as I want you to try and do this, I just want you to start to feel that as the club's going back slowly, you're gonna get this sensation that the lower body is gonna start. So you swing back, lower body going, and you're almost trying to get this kind of whipping kind of effect early doors. If you wanna take this one step further, think of a power throw. Like if you're throwing a golf ball, what would you do? You pick the ball up and you'd throw. You'd go lower body would turn first, then the upper body, the lead arm and the club. Imagine, oh, the ball, sorry. Imagine if you did this throw with just your hands. What would the throw be like? Wouldn't be very good. Imagine if you went out of sequence and you went hands first, then body, then arm, and then hips. It'd be all over the place, wouldn't it? It wouldn't be a very powerful throw. 
So actually most people know how to throw a ball, we've done it from a very early age, but actually golf is very unique where we're not looking at the target first of all, we're bent over in this funny kind of posture position, and actually that can change things and that can make things very, very difficult. But the other thing is we're actually trying to hit a golf ball and that in itself is a difficult task because what people then try and do is they forget about rhythm, they forget about this nice flow, and they just go into hitting mode where they just want to hit that ball as hard as they can and hope that it goes down the middle. Good golfers don't do that. And actually, you've probably played with somebody who's not very big but is sequencing very well. They have a beautiful flow to their golf swing and they actually hit some really nice crisp shots because of it. Flow is absolutely king and actually having that sequencing and putting it all together. So again, just take that golf club, just make some really slow motions backwards and forwards and I feel as the club is going back, you're already going to start turning that lower body. That's the swing. Just build it up, build it up and build it up to a full swing. Another great drill that you can try is a wonderful one where you actually stop the golf swing on the way back. Now, I know I've just mentioned that I wanna have a nice flow, but I also wanna put in an idea in your head of where the golf swing actually starts from the lower body perspective. And sometimes when you add momentum, especially fast momentum in the backswing, it can really take that flow out of position and actually can take you into some really strange positions. So just to teach your brain what you're supposed to do or where you're supposed to hit from, I love to do this drill where actually you take your normal setup take the lead arm so it's parallel with the ground, and all I want you to do is to physically stop at that position. Now from here, I just want you to make a slow momentum swing up and feel like the lower body is gonna turn through. So it looks like this, take the club up, lead arm parallel with the ground, slow momentum up, lower body turns through. Really getting that sensation that it's happening between lead arm parallel with the ground to the top of the swing. It's a really nice way of just getting the brain, the understanding that the lower body is going to go before you get to the very top of the swing and then try and fire. So once you've got that nice idea of actually the lower body starts in the golf swing and actually doing that drill where you lead arm stops here at parallel with the ground and feel that momentum swing as it goes up, you're going to get that lower body firing. And plus then you've actually started to feel that there's actually a lot more freedom in your arms and in your hands to actually create that width. If you think about it, your arms wouldn't be locked, they wouldn't be tight, Nothing, nothing's tight in this golf swing, it shouldn't be. There should be a nice, dynamic, beautiful flow that happens in the swing to generate power. It's not, if you're trying to force it, unfortunately, I, the science says that it, that isn't gonna work. So keep everything relaxed, keep everything flowing, and actually just go back to that nice drill. If things are going really bad, just start feeling the weight of the head again, just making some slow swings backwards and forwards, feeling your arms and your wrists, everything are nice and loose and nice and relaxed, and just build that swing up and up and up and feel like as the club is going back, your lower body's already starting. So we can start to really tie these two things in together. So really feel backwards and forwards with the club, get the club, get your body, everything kind of moving. Keep everything nice and relaxed, everything nice and loose. And remember, tense muscles are weak muscles and they forget. So keep that nice flow and let's enjoy some nice shots. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed that video. Please share it with anyone struggling with a little bit of power and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.